Many of us are now weighing the impact of how the Federal Reserve's three-quarter of a point percent rate hike will impact our finances and our future. Will it rein in inflation? Will it cause more harm than good? Brian Wilkes spoke with financial experts. He joins us now in the control room. Brian? Sean, one financial advisor that I spoke to says as the Feds raise the interest rate, people will not be buying the things that they used to. The markets are getting worried because the interest rates are going higher. As the interest rates go higher, that's, that will hopefully reduce the inflation. That's the supply and demand. Uh, we have a lot more demand right now than we have supply, so they're trying to lower the demand so that we kind of balance out so that the cost of goods goes down. He adds every time you go to the grocery store or fill up your gas tank, the price is higher. This especially affects those on fixed or lower incomes. For people investing, they have seen their accounts drop as much as 25 percent this year. So they need to look at defensive strategies. Maybe having some cash on the side right now in your accounts might be a good idea. Uh, if you haven't looked at your 401k statement in a couple of months, might be a really good idea to do that, especially if you plan on retiring here in the next couple years. The Erie Community Foundation is still helping their nonprofits despite the challenges. This is a very challenging environment. Again, all of our nonprofits are struggling because things are more expensive, cost of services are higher, we're still seeing the effects of post COVID staffing shortages, and yet the demand for their services and the services they provide is higher than ever. And Klunich adds that the Federal Reserve still has more meetings this year. He adds, if they raise the interest another 0.75 points every meeting, we could be looking at 7 or 8 percent interest rates. Sean? We'll have to see. All right. Brian Wilk reporting tonight.